Well, hello, my YouTube friend. It is with a great pleasure, a great deal also of honor and a bit of frustration that I'm going to present you this marvelous knife. But before starting any rants, uh, I wanted to just to, to show you some nice views. First of all, of the packaging. Look at that. That's classy. It's, it's a solid box. All the makers do that. I mean, for a classy knife, everyone would want uh, to have not the, your regular pouch or, or, or being in a, in, in a handkerchief or <laughs> whatever makers uh, uh, use, you know, to send you the knife. We want to have a nice box like that with a card of the maker, a small, you know, uh, uh, attention, uh, you know, like a small word like that. Hope this maximal will make your happiness. Oh, yeah, thanks, Thierry. You know, that kind of things people really uh, appreciate, especially for a custom. We like to have those kind of things. That's for what? Then uh, I wanted to show you the purdiness. Is that even English? I don't know. But the beauty, the extraordinary finish, the, 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 the shiny finish that he gets on his Mokutai, look at that. That's a tremendous work. I mean, I made a review already about a Maximus in Mokutai with a satin blade, so you can check it. But this one has really something special. I mean, it's one of the two uh, Maximus prototypes in Damascus. We're going to see about that. So yeah, this review, I'm going to talk about Cherry, probably some redundancy uh, because of the previous video that I did. But first of all, I wanted to show you before my filthy fingers <laughs> spoil the beauty of this Mokutai, I wanted you to have some nice, you know, uh, views of this tremendously beautiful, extraordinary knife. So now we're gonna start the review. So Thierry Savidan, as you know, is a French maker, probably, oh, <laughs> probably one of the top three makers in France. And you know that, uh, uh, tactical makers, I mean, uh, we don't have a lot of them, but the ones that we have are absolutely extraordinary, whether it's uh, Thierry, uh, who is, for those of you who don't know, maybe one of the biggest inspiration of uh, Tashi Barusha, whether it's for the design or the way he makes knives, that's Thierry actually who taught uh, Tashi how to, you know, how to improve and to make tactical knives. So yeah, Thierry is a really, really tremendous maker. If we have the chance, we can see, you can see here on the backspacer, it's not that obvious, but it says Damascus number one. You see the one, the rest is a little bit faded, whatever. Uh, yeah, one of, uh, the main inspiration of Tashi Barusha, so an extraordinary maker, extraordinary <laughs> maker with Philippe Jauger, Raphael Durand. Those guys are just absolutely insane. Uh, the, the quality, the craftsmanship, the artistry that you get on Thierry's knives are just difficultly matched. You know, uh, uh, you can find, you know, probably as good knives around the world for sure. Oh, I mean, you have extraordinary America. <laughs> I, I need to stop. Let's say awesome, you know, <laughs> everyone knows me with that. So let's say awesome makers around there. Uh, and uh, uh, you have some that are on the top. And I think that Thierry really, really, really is one of the top, top, top maker. Uh, is incredible. And I hope that I conveyed that already with my previous videos. And this one, uh, uh, hopefully also. So yeah, one of the first uh, two. So this one is in Bacon Damascus. Typically, I don't like Bacon Damascus, but on this one, uh, I think it fits perfectly well, the line uh, uh, of the knife. And actually, uh, it, it, it grew on me like crazy. Uh, speaking about the details, I mean, check the beauty of that, of those lines, the evenness. That's the first time, my friend, that he's working with the Damascus. And he took... Uh, the time and he spent the effort to choose the right place to cut the blade in order to have that. I mean, check that precision. Check the lines of the wider lines here. He cut them in a way that the line here, the upper line, is following the line here of the bolster. And the others are ex exactly parallel to the bolster, the line of the bolster here on both sides, gentlemen, look at that. So this one 
is just parallel to the other. I mean, cutting exactly to have, you know, following the lines is difficult, but it's exactly parallel to all those lines here and here. That's just one of the attention to details that I absolutely adore about Thierry. Also, the way he's working his Mokutai. I don't know many people who will get a, a, such a great and beautiful polish finish. It's just an extraordinary way. Extraordinary. <laughs> Here I go again. A fantastic way to finish his Mokutai. Uh, then, I've talked about that on the previous uh, video, the contouring which is something that is probably difficult to appreciate here. I mean, yes, you can tell. Here, look at the thickness of the slab of titanium. Here, look how thin it is. You have a tremendous amount of contouring on this. Look at that, how beautiful it is. I mean, the thickness here and the thinness here is just, I mean, reflects the way, because on the profile, it's difficult to say. Yeah, maybe, yeah, you can appreciate it here also, definitely. I mean, there, are, there is here, the, the, the contouring goes like that, you know, uh, so you can tell, you know, it's just extraordinary. Uh, here also on the bolster, very, very much contouring that you cannot, or it's difficult probably to appreciate, but uh, just a great amount of contouring, which is something that I absolutely adore, and you don't feel it, I mean, it's just smooth. Here, the gap, I mean, there's no gap. Uh, literally, I mean, you, you, you wouldn't feel anything between those two materials, which are actually titanium. And that's a titanium frame, because it's a bolster lock, as you can see. Uh, so that's titanium also. And they're both, you know, polished in a, way, in a way that you don't feel the difference in the material. And of course, you don't feel the junction here. You don't feel the junction here. There are absolutely no junctions. Wherever you're going to see a junction, you, you don't, you don't, you're not going to feel it here no gap whatsoever here also there is a one because of the lock but when it's closed you feel a little gap but that's close to perfection really very difficult because of the tension of the lock not to feel any gap on the bolster lock look at this 3d clip very very nicely done the back spacer to me is just oh, something that i absolutely adore so that's one piece and look at that i mean he cut it here and you have this you know this Kind of pike that is following exactly the tip of the of the blade look at that that precision work on the back spacer is incredible that is a touch that i, that I absolutely adore you see those those are ceramic balls and those are actually the balls that are used for the bearings that is something that i just found fantastic just a touch very nice touch and you see also the cuts that you have here on the back spacer look at that they reproduce exactly the cuts that you have here and check this small, or uh, let, let, let's call it a, a low profile flipper tab also. That's, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what I think that all flipper tabs should be. I mean, you don't, you don't see it. And it's part of the design with the cuts here that are beautiful. Just a tiny bit of jimping here. And man, you put your finger here. You cannot, literally cannot miss that. You can give that knife and let a non-flipper guy or a non-knife guy for that matter trying to open it he will never never fail and check that action you see that metallic noise that is just incredible the smoothness as you can expect with ceramic bolts is just fantastic you hear a small noise because it's damascus and it's brand new but believe me the smoothness is just just phenomenal phenomenal uh, new features new feature he added is the steel insert very nice that's actually the first time that he released the the uh, that on a knife but most importantly of course is that damascus so the grind on his knives is just incredible this is something that is very hard just as jerry mcginnis's grind uh, or rexford it's something that you, you need to have you, you have to understand that this why this is why i told you that tashi uh, uh I mean, really uses uh, the idea of uh, Thierry's uh, design. I mean, you know that Tashi also is all in roundness and, and wideness uh, of the blades. So yeah, that's Thierry's touch, you know, to, to start with. Uh, so you have a grind. So now you have this, the nice swedge here. But the grind, you have to imagine that the grind goes from the top here with this wideness, and it's a full, 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 full hollow grind, and a dramatic one at that. Look at the thickness of the blade here. And here it's thin. I mean, you could literally feel 
almost feel your two fingers when you touch at the, at the edge. So appreciating the, the, a grind like that is way more difficult to appreciate on a video than if you check like, you know, what like compound grinds, which are obvious, you're gonna see like all those grinds, but actually basically it's way easier to get a compound grind than to get a full hollow with that kind of perfect, that level of perfection that is achieved here. And believe me, it's just absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, it's really hard uh, to convey that kind of idea of that of the precision that you're gonna get to, to you need to have as a craftsman and as, a, as an artist to get a grind like that, but that, that's just an, a phenomenal, phenomenal grind. Absolutely adore it. I'll talk about the action. Look at that. The engagement is just perfect. There is absolutely no stickness whatsoever. Here, that detent. Boom! <laughs> it sucked inside. And the action, as I told you, is just fantastic. So yeah, Thierry, uh, he is growing and growing and growing. Uh, he is not making a lot of those knives, of, of course. I mean, those are really... Uh, uh, I mean like really specific knives that you can expect to get like in auctions or uh, those are really prototypes and, and don't expect to get knives like that easily. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of hard. And actually that's part of my frustration because I want to uh, uh, try to find a way, you know, to, to, to please my friends. So this actually is not my knife, uh, as is the other one that I have also, the one with the herringbone. Those two prototypes will go to dear friends of mine. Uh, and I know for a fact that, I, uh, that I'm going to get one eventually <laughs> from Thierry, but I want to please my friends first. And I know that, you know, the, the simple fact to be uh, uh, the intermediate and to have uh, the, the luxury to play with those, you know, to, to, to just fondle them just before sending them uh, to their uh, new owner, for me, it, it, it's almost sufficient, I would say, because they, they, they transit through me and, and I have this extreme pleasure uh, to make those reviews, to, to, to fondle them. And that's, that's to me, yeah, it, it, it's a pure, pure, pure luxury. So I'm really happy uh, to have that. So, but in a way also, <laughs> that was the idea of the frustration to start with. Uh, what can I say wrong about that knife? I mean, not much, not much. Maybe uh, it has been, you know, uh, uh, put to my attention, the fact that the screw is outside and it could be inside. Yes, okay, agreed. Uh, that's something that can be, uh, that can be perfected. Uh, the pivot, yeah, at some points, maybe uh, uh, Thierry will consider doing uh, some custom pivot, but I, I like, it's neat. This one is neat. I mean, you, there is also no gap with that pivot. Let me try to focus on that one. So yeah, it's it's a regular pivot, and the good thing is that it's a, a it's a Torx, yeah, here. So, ah, yeah, yeah, that's something maybe, maybe, maybe at some point uh, to be perfected to have a, a custom pivot. Other than that, believe me, uh, I'm trying hard. I mean, Thierry is a psycho rigid man. <laughs> when he's gonna release a knife, you can expect. I mean, him to to spend whatever time is necessary to get a, just a perfect knife and to put all, all, all his mind and all his dedication to get a perfect knife. Uh, the edge, I haven't talked about that, but it's it's scary sharp. I mean, that would cut. I don't know. It's, it, <laughs> I like Godzilla's balls. So yeah, that would cut Godzilla's balls <laughs> for sure. So yeah, Thierry, uh, uh, spend way too much time, you know, uh, uh, on those knives to leave any room for imperfection. So yeah, that's, I was going to say Rexford-like uh, uh, precision. Yeah, that's Rexford-like. We, we, we're talking that. I mean, we're talking Rexford. Uh, Thierry has not the ability to make, uh, I'm sorry about that. I, I'm going to rephrase it. He hasn't tried already uh, to make crazy pieces like, like, like Todd does. But probably not a lot of people. I would say that, uh, I, I would argue that Probably no one uh, uh, has the ability to do what Rexford does on his, you know, uh, 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 like crazy pieces with all those floating inlays or whatever. This guy is just crazy, he's unique. But uh, uh, other than that, if you take all the other knives from Rexford and very few can compare to him, even on the other knives, uh, this is where I think that Cherry can compare to, 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 to Rexford-like precision in his, uh, uh, in his work. This is what uh, I wanted to say. This is the kind of uh, 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 maker that we have here. Just a fantastic one doing fantastic knives. And we are heading now to the 15 minutes, I guess, that I've been kind of thorough uh, on actually what I wanted to say uh, and pay tribute to Cherry to leave me the, you know, the possibility to, <laughs> to be the intermediate and 
to have those beautiful knives in my hands, which is a pleasure and an honor, and of course, a bit of frustration, but soon I'll get mine. And with that being said, my friend, I'll leave it at that, and I'll catch you very soon for another video. Bye-bye. It was a pleasure. Ha!